So I've got this gripper push block made by Microjig. And I think I got this for free when I purchased a router or something like that. I was a little skeptical of them at first because they're pretty expensive. Um, but it's actually really nice and I'm able to do a lot of cuts really safely with it. The one thing that I've noticed though is it doesn't have a hook on the back in the way that this has a hook. You can push on the back side of a piece of lumber. Um, but I'd like to get rid of this. This is kind of cheap. And I think micro jig, I was, I was thinking about making one and I, I looked online and for $15 they do have these, uh, I think they call them gravity heels that hook in the back here. And they're also meant to be uh, reused because you can cut through them. But really I just want one that I can use and drop off the back here. So I think what I'm gonna try to make is I have this scrap piece of ash. I'm just gonna cut a hole in it and see if I can hook it onto here so I can have a, a hook on the back which will take the place of this and then I only have to have uh, one push block on my table saw. So let's go ahead and see if we can make something. So now I've got a little stop piece that I've marked out for center and I've got a drill bit for 13 16 and I'm just going to drill some holes here. Now this would be better to do with a router but since my shop is in disarray right now I don't have anything set up so I'm just going to try to drill this out through the center and then maybe take a chisel and make a little channel for it and then we'll pop it on there and see how it works. <laughs> Okay, so I've got a channel hogged out of here. Let's go ahead and put that on the back side of our push block. So you can have it adjusted up, it's out of the way. And then if we did <clears throat> want to push something, you just kind of slightly loosen that, tighten it down. And so if we had this piece of plywood here, it hooks right on there. And I can actually put quite a bit of pressure on there. If I had to put any more pressure than that, probably means I shouldn't be pushing it through the saw. So yeah, that worked out about exactly how I expected. We can get it out of the way if I want to, if I don't need that hook in the back. So yeah, that probably took me about five minutes to create. So you'll have to decide if you want to spend that five minutes or if $15 is a better way to do that because for 15 bucks you can buy the pre-made ones from Gripper. So hopefully that helps for anyone that also has one of these push blocks and leave some comments in the comments section. Thanks.